Mozilla just rolled out a really cool project called LlamaFile, which allows you to run large language models on your local computer from a single file. So why is this useful? It means you don't need any network connection. You don't have to be dependent on something like OpenAI. You can run any compatible large language model. So to start, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I've run Llama server and I get this interface with all sorts of options to configure the large language model. I'm just going to type in a prompt here, write a poem about llamas. Okay, beautiful. Now, if we wanted to say lower the temperature, meaning make the response less random or less creative and ask it to write a poem about llamas. Let's see what it generates. Okay. Doesn't want to try to be creative. You can get llama file from this GitHub repo from Mozilla. The documentation in the repo can be a little bit confusing if you're just getting started with machine learning or, or not super familiar with code. So I will explain how to get up and running. In the Mozilla repo, they give you some llama files that you can download and run. For example, Mistral 7B instruct. And the link here is to Hugging Face. If you haven't used Hugging Face, it's sort of like the GitHub for AI models. So in this case, I'm looking at the Mistral 7B model weights. And if I were to run the llama file server against this file here, it will use Mistral as the large language model for that interface that we just saw. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to scroll down here and I'll just pick this first GGUF file. Actually, let's go down to their recommended model here. And we'll click download. And I'll see you in a bit. It's very large. So the next thing we'll do is come back to this Mozilla GitHub repo for Llama file. And we'll download the latest release. That's over here on these releases. We've got Llama file 2.1. We'll grab the zip and download that. Once I have that, it's going to unzip it. So I'm just going to put this in a directory. Put it in my documents. Just call it llama file. And now in here, I'll make a directory called weights. Let's see where my downloads at. It's almost done. We'll go into that downloads folder. And now that it's done, I'm going to drop this into that weights folder. Okay, so now I've got everything I need to run the server with the model that we downloaded. I'm going to open up a terminal window. I'm going to change into that directory. Just drag it over here. So we're going to run that llama file server. That's at the M flag for model. And direct it to that weights. Mistral 7B. Gonna load up. See, it's pretty fast. And there you go. Got our language model up and running on our local server. No open AI, no network connection needed. And let's ask it something to test it out. What animal is depicted? on the Mozilla Firefox logo. Let's see if it knows this. It's a red panda, that's correct. Nice job, Mistral. So that's the server method of running Llama file, but you can also just run these files directly. So if I were to download the command line binary here, I've got that file here. Let's change into that directory. And we'll just run that llama file. We're going to pass it this prompt dash P parameter. And we'll ask it a question. What is Mozilla best known for? Spinning up the model again. Asking the prompt, what is Mozilla best known for? Mozilla is best known for creating and maintaining the Firefox web browser. Gives us some data on how long everything took. 
And there you go. If you want to see all of the commands that you can run, you can pass the dash H flag and it'll give you all the different options of things that you can run. So to be clear, this is not a llama file thing. This is what is available via the llama language model itself. If you are more of a reader, Simon Willison has a great primer on how to get this up and running. And he has a sample where he passes it an image and asks it to describe this plant. So that's it for this getting up and running with Llama file. Keep an eye on this repo. This is an early release and I know the team is doing a lot of work here. If you want to try it out against other models, just head to Hugging Face and look for any GGUF model. We've got Zephyr, OpenChat, lots of other things coming up on the search list here. And good luck. Thanks.